Hey guys, Popus God here. Um, I uploaded another video, but it's having problems. Uh, YouTube's being stupid. But anyways, uh, I am back. And the reason I've been off for a while is because I've been moving into a new room. Um, hopefully now I'll be able to put out more videos. Um, and uh, maybe in the future I'll do like a an IRL video here. But right now I don't have a camera working on that though but anyways this is not what I wanted to talk about today today I'm gonna be going well this is an introduction to a new series that I'm doing um, it's sorta of similar to some of the stuff I've done in the past it's just um, it seems like I'm getting more of a response to videos like this so I'm gonna try to do a little more of them um, but what I'm going to be doing is uh, reviewing some programs out there that will help you um, get into uh, penetration and hacking and stuff like that. Anyways, today we're going to be going over uh, VMware Player. I know it's not really a hacking, per se, program or anything like that. But um, it is something that you're going to need. Um, you don't absolutely need it. But um, when you are testing things, uh, it is a lot better option than having more than one computer. Uh, anyways, uh, let me go ahead and open up Opera here, and I'll kind of show you how to get it. Um, and I'll be showing you a few other things here. It's not just uh, an overview on um, VMware. Uh, Player is the free version. Um, one second here. I can't remember the website. I think it's just VMware.com. Yeah, VMware.com. Uh, and they have changed their website since the last time I downloaded it. Um, but they have several options here. You can pay for one, You and there's, like, corporate versions. Um, I recommend... This is stupid. Yeah, VMware.com. The first one always sucks. Anyways, you just come up here to support and downloads. And uh, you're going to find VMware Player on here somewhere. Yeah. Here we go. De under desktop and, and uh, end user computing, you're going to find VMware Player. Um, that's the free version, and it's a pretty good. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I did have Workstation a while back, um, but I lost it uh, in my old computer, and it doesn't work anymore and all that kind of garbage. So, anyways, VMware Player, it works for... Uh, Works for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, not sure about anything else out there, but anyways, um, awesome program. You can download it here. It takes forever. But um, another thing I'm going to be going over here too is when an OS that you're going to want um, for yourself, and that is Backtrack Five. Oh, I thought I had it saved in here. Oh well. well, let's just uh, let's just do a search for it here real quick. Anyways, Backtrack Five is pretty my primarily what I use. Um, there's a lot of programs out there for uh, for Windows as well uh, that are also in Backtrack. Uh, they just have a Windows version of the program, like Metasploit, for example. But um, to be honest. The problem with Windows is that if you're on a Windows machine and you're actually doing some penetration, <laughs> oh, I, I just said that. Anyways, if you're actually on a Windows machine and you're attacking a system or a network, um, it's pretty open uh, telling to telling the uh, network or the other person that you're attacking them. The uh, advantage that you have of Backtrack is by default, it doesn't sit there and, and tell the network that it's there. It doesn't sit there and tell the other computers that it's there. It sits there quietly and sits in the corner and just reads packets and it attacks only when you... And it only sends out information when you want it to send out information. It's the best way to explain it. Um, that's not the only best thing about it is the fact that... Um, it is a uh, Debian-based Linux system, and that is where the majority of your programs and stuff are going to be written and geared towards. So, best option here, because it has the majority of what you're going to need right here in the package. 
um, because it's not really a package, it's more it's an operating system. But um, you can come up here to downloads, and you can actually download the, instead of installing it normally like you would on a computer into VMware, they actually uh, provide you with a uh, an, an already set up VMware uh, distribution. And you can come in here and you can, um, <clears throat> sorry, it clumped my throat there for a second, but you can register. You can just download it if you want to. You come in here and select all your options. Um, oh, that's cool. They have a release one. I didn't know that. But anyways, uh, I'll probably download that before I actually get in here and show it to you guys, see if there's any more updates. Um, but like, for example, they have it in GNOME and KDE. If you guys don't know what that means, it's just, um, this is based off of Ubuntu, uh, the newest version, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. I don't follow uh, Ubuntu very well. But anyways, you can get GNOME or KDE. Um, they have 32 or 64 bit. I recommend going with 64 bit um, if your processor and your computer support 64 bit. Um, it just, for some reason, runs better. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, but if you do get the uh, 64 bit and you do have problems with it, just go to 32 and it'll probably fix all your problems. Um, you have the option to do VMware or an ISO. ISO, you just you can burn it to a disk or install it onto a thumb drive and actually install it onto your disk, or you can uh, install it just onto a thumb drive and then not install it and just run it off the thumb drive. Um, you can direct download it or torrent it, dude. Seriously, torrent it. It takes forever if you direct download. Like I'm not kidding. There are thousands of people out there that leave this seated on their computer you will get it very very quickly if you torrent it sorry I just hit the mic there but anyways that's where you can get backtrack and let me open it up and just basically do a quick little uh, I haven't actually opened it up yet on this computer where did VMware go I moved it <laughs> I'm gonna do that a lot when I do these reviews. Just a just a heads up here, because I do that all the time when I'm showing someone something. Um, I recommend. Oh, don't want that. I recommend picking up um, a Windows distribution. I recommend Windows XP uh, for those beginners out there, just because it is way more vulnerable uh, than something like Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Um, Currently, right now, I have Windows 7 Enterprise, um, just because I found a workaround into making it not care if I register. Anyways, um, I don't actually use this for anything, I just use it for attacking, anything like that. Um, but, anyways, let me open these up for you. Um, if you have a good enough computer, I recommend um, actually running both of the... Uh, both Windows 7 and uh, Backtrack 5 in a virtual machine. You guys do not want to do this against your actual operating system because you can seriously mess it up and ruin your day. <laughs> seriously. I'm not kidding. Um, and uh, it's also it's going to give you an option to download VMware tools uh, for whichever uh, operating system you're downloading. For Windows, it actually has an easy installer, and it just goes in and installs it for you. All you have to do, literally, all you have to do is make a username and password and put in the product key if you have one. Um, like I said before, you can get around those if you know how to do it. I don't know if I can make a video on here on YouTube about it because it is... Um, I don't want any legality problems, or legality problems, sorry I pronounced that wrong. But um, anyways, uh, this is, VMware Tools just basically lets the operating system run a lot smoother. Um, you're going to want to download and install that. Um, Windows, like I said before, has an easy install where it just goes through and does it for you. Uh, but as a heads up, you also can uh, just continue without putting a product key in. And it gives you, I think, a 30-day trial. I'm not sure, but you do have to ins reinstall again after the 30 days that you've used Windows 7. Um, 
so it kind of sucks, but uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Um, I haven't opened up uh, Backtrack 5 yet, um, but it's going to go ahead and download and install uh, my uh, VMware tools here. Um, you guys, this is look. This is what it'll, exactly what it'll look like when you first do it, because I haven't opened it up yet, like I said. Um, this is a pretty new computer, and I haven't done anything with it since, so... And right there, it'll probably pop up with some permissions thing for VMware. Just hit OK. VMware's cool. Trust me. It's going to take forever. There we go. Sorry, it's taking so long, guys. But anyways... Um, also, if there's anything in the uh, in the future that you want to learn, anything in specific or any program you want me to do a review on, or if you want me to test out a program, I know normally people don't do that because it's pretty dangerous, but uh, to be honest, I have an extra computer that I don't give a shit about, that I will probably test some stuff out for you if I don't know what it is, or I'll give you a heads up if, it's, uh, if I know that it's a bad program or not. Just leave it down below, and... Um, I get to my uh, comments here pretty quickly. Anyways, uh, let's get into this. Uh, backtrack 5. Uh, first thing you're going to notice is this, and it's a login. And you're going to go, what the fuck? I didn't set up a login. Well, that's because Backtrack set one up for you. Um, it's pretty simple to get in. You just, uh, the username, hold on. <laughs> Make sure you're actually clicked into there is going to be the username is going to be root um, if you are using any other Linux distribution out there I do not recommend logging into root ever unless you need to uh, and you know what you're doing because the way Linux is set up is uh, you basically have is kinda like I'm gonna use Windows as an example just because but root is sort of the administrative account um, it has full access to everything that you would ever need um, and the way Linux runs is you have other users underneath that that can still access that kind of information by typing their password in. it's kind of confusing I might do a video here in the future about it but the uh, password there is just root backwards um, it'll show you right here I don't have a mouse anymore but um hold on it's uh, control alt right here you can see it um, it's just uh, T O O R that's the password backwards uh, this here is how to actually get into the graphical user interface you don't actually need to get into the graphical user interface uh, in here and basically what that is is just this pretty desktop and everything like that you get with Windows um, that's how you get access to that. It does have that. You just have to know how to access it. Or you can just run all your commands here from the terminal, which I don't recommend because it looks boring. Um, so to start it up, you just hit start, or type in start, and X after that, and hit enter. And it'll go through all its little things. Um, and it'll start going here. And it doesn't take that long to boot up if you give it enough uh, memory and everything. So if the computer is quick enough, it shouldn't take too long. Um, but if you're on something like my old computer, which is like an old HP Slimline, it might take a little a little bit of time here. Um, but here, see, I've already booted up. And it's asking me to install my uh, VMware tools. I'm just going to go ahead and update. Uh, my VMware tools, you're going to want to do that. Like I said, it makes it run a lot smoother. This is just basically how you guys do it. Um, you have to mount the drive, and it pretty much does everything for you, but... Um, just do, I hope I'm doing this right, I haven't done it in forever. Dot PL. 
And uh, it's all written in Python, so it's pretty easy. Shit. Oh, I didn't uncompress it. Or decompress it. Uh, anyways, I'll show you guys that later. Anyways, this is how you get into Backtrack and open it up. You guys don't have to install the VMware tools, but I highly recommend it. Um, I'll do a video here in the future once I actually do my Backtrack review and I start actually showing you guys some stuff. But this is how you get into it. Um, it's an amazing operating system. You guys are going to love it once I start showing you guys how to use everything. What I recommend is going through here. Um, this is all all your stuff. Just take a look through it. See if you recognize anything. Um, just mess around with it a little bit. It does have Wine uh, automatically installed into it. And if you guys don't know what Wine is, it's sort of like a, a way to run Windows programs inside of Linux or Mac OS. Um, try installing some stuff in there, mess around with it a little bit, and I will be back shortly to show you a little bit more about everything. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a good one.